Hey everybody, Jason with Mark Twain Lake Fishing Intel here, and I'm with Alan Mayer with the uh, Mark Twain Lake uh, Corps of Engineers, and uh, he's gonna go over some uh, great stuff happening here at the lake. We got some uh, fish habitat going in. He's gonna kind of give you a rundown on it and uh, tell you what it's all about. Sure, I appreciate you letting me talk about this, Jason. That's a really good opportunity to get this information out. So, as resource professionals, we understand the lake is starting to age. The reservoir has been here over 40 years, and a lot of that natural uh, habitat and, and structure that was in the lake when it was flooded, it's pretty much gone. We've had several flood events that have washed the shorelines, and we recognize that that habitat's gone. So for years, we would gather up Christmas trees and, and, and work with volunteers, community volunteers, and come out here and and place the Christmas trees in the lake. It was a really good thing because you know we could get five, six hundred trees from local uh, townships and put them in the lake. It was a good use of that resource, and, and always enjoyed that. But we realized when we were doing it, it's a short-term fix. It's not a the the materials will go in the water and they just they just eventually will go away. So recognizing those habitat losses, I. Uh, started working with the fisheries uh, biologists out of Missouri Department of Conservation and then started talking with some of our friends, my friends around the lake, uh, a gentleman like Keith Hendricks. Uh, he, he says, hey, you know what? We could really uh, benefit from potentially some artificial habitat. And so we started getting online. We had other sister lakes within our district uh, putting out something that were, they were called Georgia Cubes. And so we got online and kind of checked them out to see what they were all about. So two years ago, working with the MDC and working with community volunteers, we formalized a five-year management plan to address some of this habitat loss by creating artificial habitat with these PVC cube structures and also concrete blocks that are embedded with uh, 10 or 12 strands of poly pipe, creating like an artificial bush. Uh, so we did the first one on our own uh, in 2021, in the spring of 21, and it went well. We sucked, sunk 90 structures in the lake that was up at Three Fingers, and what was amazing is we, we bought the materials and then built the structures with about 28 volunteers. They showed up on a Saturday morning. And in three and a half hours, they built 90 structures and 180 spider blocks. And then the following weekend, they showed up and helped us transport them. And then we sunk them over at uh, the Three Fingers Cove over near North Fork. Uh, we soon thereafter got a small $10,000 grant from the Friends of Reservoirs groups. And we decided, okay, let's do it again in October. Again, well supported by the community. It was... It was amazing seeing all these volunteers showing up, wanting to spend time constructing these structures and and then taking them, transporting them, and, and placing them in the lake. Uh, that The next project we did was over near the, the, the silo, route end silo. The thing is, is we don't focus on a cove. We don't focus on one spot. We, we were looking on the scope of a bay. So when we did, the Three Fingers Cove, it was the entire, there was there's three coves there. We did all of them, and plus the, the, the shoreline near the boat ramp. And when we did Route Inn, uh, we did all of it east of the island of Route Inn, along that shoreline, and a little bit up Little, little Indian Creek. Last spring, uh, that same process was, was replicated down south. Or and looking forward to next week, we are going to be placing 60 structures, 60 cube structures, and 120 blocks in the bay near Spalding Beach. Um, we're really excited about doing it. We have a lot of volunteers that have already showed up to help us prep the materials, and we have uh, an event this weekend where we'll be uh, constructing the structures, and then on October 1st is the big day to go ahead and sink them. Generally, once we get done syncing them, we GPS locate them, and you can find them on our Facebook page. You can find them on our website. Uh, we have them as GPS downloads, so uh, angling enthusiasts can go in there, get them, 
drop them into their either their handheld GPS's or download them to their phones or download them to any instruments they have in their boats and go right to the structures and they're really cool when you look at them on live scope they're pretty slick and from what I understand talking with a lot of the area anglers they're holding a lot of fish yeah. and uh, that's exciting to me and so we're, we're only the second year in next year what was really exciting is we ended up receiving a grant for thirty thousand dollars from the bass pro shop and we're going to try to expand this and this winter we'll work with our partners try to determine where those areas are going to be in the lake and this may stretch beyond five years we don't know but right now our five this is our five-year plan and i really think it's a great benefit to the lake and it's a long-term solution to something that we as resource professionals realized was happening with the age of the reservoirs. Cool. Well, that's great information from Alan. I really appreciate you taking your time out of oh, your day no and uh, talking. And now I'm going to head to a uh, Spalding ramp area and we're going to take a look at kind of the area that they're going to be putting all these uh, uh, fish structures. So, uh, no worries. We'll, uh, we'll see you there. Well, now I'm over here at Spalding ramp here and I'm with Shelly from the uh, Mark Twain Corps of Engineers here at the lake. This is the area where they're gonna uh, dump all the uh, fish habitats and uh, she's gonna kind of explain what that what that's gonna entail a little bit. So we're gonna bring all these nice little spider blocks and Mark Twain cubes that will be constructed this coming Saturday and they'll be placed along the ramp. Fishermen are welcome to come help us dump them. We'll bring our big work barge in. I have need for volunteers onshore to help load as well as boats to put them out in place. They'll be put up Cow Creek and uh, around various locations on our lake. Cool. So there you have it. Now we're, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go check out some of this. We're gonna these. look at the structures. We're gonna look at them structures. So we're gonna now leave here and head over to the Frank Russell where they're gonna put all these structures together and uh, we'll see you there in a second. Well, now we're over here at Frank Russell where the uh, construction is gonna begin uh, on the 24th of September. And uh, Shelly's gonna kinda explain how this operation is gonna work and kinda what they go through. All right, so we have all our PVC pipe cut. We have our drain pipe cut. We, we make a square. We have to glue it. We'll put a three-way here. In that three-way, we'll put PVAC gravel to weight the structure down. We'll put this up right in the top of the three-way. Then we need people to put the matrix together. We put a two-foot pipe to keep our matrix off the ground of the lake so it stays out of the silt. Then we start making habitat for the fish. We put pipes along the side as well as the longer pipe i'm going to lay this down for a second <laughs> so that there'll be fish habitat along the side as well as in the middle of the matrix. And as you can tell, one hand doesn't work. work. <laughs> you need a lot of hands to do this. So once that's done, they'll put another square on top and it will be completed, ready to sink. Cool, and then you need plenty of volunteers. Plenty of hands to make this work. So, there you have it. I hope that kind of gives an idea of what's gonna go on here of the 24th of September to build them. And then October 1st on that Saturday to dump them here at uh, Mark Twain Lake and Spalding uh, area there. So uh, I want to thank Shelly for joining me here and uh, Alan earlier. And uh, we really appreciate it here at Mark Twain Lake Fishing Intel. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, great videos here on the website. Y'all have a great day.